TriMed bus who witnessed a dog attack that turned deadly for a small Pomeranian. The other dog involved, a Rottweiler mix, is with animal control tonight. Hey, we can step in the of the store the from North Portland with that story, Steph. Well, the owner of the larger dog was getting off the bus here at the corner of Interstate and Lombard when his dog got into a fight with a Pomeranian also on board the bus. That fight terrified some of the passengers on the bus. The blink of an eye just got out of control, and the dog was just, I was scared, you know. I was like, what's going on? And I was, I was kind of like, I felt bad for the dog because it was so small, you know. Latifa Hicks was sitting next to the owner of the Pomeranian on bus 75 yesterday afternoon when a fight broke out between the little dog and a 50-pound Rottweiler Sharpe mix on its way off the bus. Both dogs were on leashes. But at the same time, I was trying to smell it, you know, get to know it like, you know, we're the same. We're dogs, you know? But then, all of a sudden, it just got attacked. I was like, what's going on? Paul Reigns were little yappers anyway. And, and, you know, Max probably wanted to sniff them or, you know, just being natural, being a dog. We were not able to reach the owner of the larger dog, Max, but we did talk to his friend, Roger Heron, who took care of the dog for more than a year. He's just not aggressive at all. He's, he's like I said, he's nine years old. He's just lazy. <laughs> But witnesses say Max looked anything but lazy during yesterday's deadly dog fight. It had some sharp teeth. Like, it was, it was, you know, growling at the, it was growling at the little pet. I felt bad for it. It's a horrible tragedy. I mean, the owners of, owner of the larger dog should have been watching his animal more closely. The larger dog's owner won't be able to ride TriMet for 30 days because dogs are not allowed on board buses unless they are service or companion animals or in pet carriers. TriMet says the driver did ask both dog owners if their dogs were service animals, and both said yes. TriMet says officers later found out Max, the larger dog, was not really a service dog. The driver should have checked instead of just taking his word. TriMet tells us the drivers ask all dog owners once they get on board if their dogs are service animals, but they are not allowed to ask what those service animals are used for because of medical privacy laws. Reporting live from North Portland tonight, Stephanie Krolovich, the 10 o'clock news.